Hi, it's Kaden. This is my capstone project for Career Life Connections 12. Okay, so for my CLC 12 capstone project, I'm going to be building and designing a chair. Hopefully this will get me more knowledgeable about architecture, design, and woodworking. The reason I chose a chair is because it sounds fun, and I also enjoy the idea of building and designing. There's going to be a lot of challenges on the way, and I'm going to learn a lot through this. Okay, so right now, I'm watching videos on how to build chairs with simple tools. A lot of these are actually interesting to me. Okay, I'm currently watching safety precautions while woodworking. The safety As I'm going to have to be safe while doing this because I could get injured, I do not want to. So I'm looking at cost of wood to make a budget for this project. It's hard to find the exact pieces I need, so I'm actually going to go out tomorrow to a few stores and look. So I've made my blueprints for the round chair that I'm going to make and I've included measurements on each one and the amount of wood I need. Okay, so right now I'm in Home Depot looking for wood to build a table. I found this nice long stick of wood and I'm going to separate it into four pieces for the legs. I also found this long sheet of wood that I'll be using for the base, like on top of the legs. And I'll obviously cut it shorter and to make it like probably like right here. Currently, I'm in the screw section looking for screws to put in the table to make it stable and looking for an eight by three. So I'm going to get one of these right now. I'm looking for glue to stick the pieces of wood together. And I found this one for seven dollars. So and the sandpaper is right here as well. I found this one and we'll use it to smoothen out the wood. So the total for all the materials together, including tax, was $38 basically. Okay, these are the materials we got from Home Depot. They're pre-cut by the worker there and I'm just about to glue it with my dad to help. I have some scissors to cut up on the glue and some gloves to keep me safe from the glue. Okay, so right now I'm gluing the boards together. I'm just going to do like a zigzag motion to make sure they stay together. And then after we glue them together, we have to let it dry for about 24 hours. Okay, so now I'm sticking uh, surface one to surface two, and then that will basically make the top half of the stool. Okay, here we go. Make sure this is perfect. These pieces are drying right now, I'll let them dry. And then these legs I'll put on the stool after, and then I'll let that dry, and I'll squeeze in, keep it more stable. Before I glue the legs onto the main part, I'm going to sand it all down to make it smoother. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the sandpaper to smoothen out the ends of the legs, so then it's smooth for it to glue on, and I'll also make this smoother by sanding it, and then I'll glue it on, and then I'll let it dry. Okay. I've sandpapered everything out. Now I'm gonna glue the legs on just like this. They're not glued yet, I'll glue them in a second. And then yeah, I'll let it dry for 24 hours again, make sure it's stabilized, and then I'll screw it after. Oh wait, okay, so I'm just measuring the dimensions so then I know where to put the legs on the base. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the legs to the table with the glue. So here we go. I'll start with this one. I'm gonna do a zigzag motion like I did with the other one. This glue is hard to come out. Then I'll also glue this to make sure. And then I'll clean up the extra glue after. I have to make sure I put this on properly. Okay, now I'm just gonna repeat this step four times. Let it dry for 24 hours. Okay. All the legs are glued onto the table. Now we'll wait 24 hours. So the table is finished with the glue on. It's actually really stable and I feel like it can hold a lot of weight. I can sit on it, I've already tried. We're just gonna screw it to make it more stable. Secure. So I was testing out the strength and I actually kicked it too hard and the leg fell off. So it was a good test to see how strong the glue was. We're gonna screw it right now. I'm drawing the hole. Now 
now I'm just gonna screw it in. This is the finished product. Everything's screwed down. Um, yeah, it's pretty stable. Okay, this is the last part of my capstone project. So this is just like, uh, like what I learned and like what the challenges and stuff. So I've, I've learned a lot, gained a lot of experience and I'm very proud of the final result of my capstone project. So I learned how to be more responsible, learn how to be better at communicating, a little bit of uh, improve that my critical thinking and creative thinking skills. So I, of course I learned a little bit about design, architecture and woodwork. It was actually, the overall project was way harder than I thought. It took a lot of hard work, discipline, and dedication. But in the end, I obviously I got it done. Pretty proud of my result. So there's a few challenges that occurred. So the first challenge was I was limited on my budget, resources, and materials. So I had to get only certain things because I, like, I was not able to access anything else. So a challenge that occurred to me is that my original design cannot be built, my original blueprint. So I had to kind of uh, quickly improvise. So I got other tools and I made it into another type of design and it worked out in the end. So in Home Depot, yeah, I had one of the workers there cut the wood and make it a square stool instead of a circular stool. Another challenge I had during the project was one of the legs, like the legs broke mid project and I just overcame this by gluing it back together and assembling it with the other parts. In the future, I don't I'm not 100% sure where this will take me. Like I don't know if I'm going to go into architecture and design, but if I do, I think the capstone project might be like a partial reason why I go into it cuz it got me more interested. Uh overall, the capstone project was a great learning journey and I'm pretty proud of the work, dedication and discipline I put into it. Thank you.